Good morning, friends. Um, I'm working on a knife sheet, and today I needed to do some hair cone drops, um, and decided I'd go ahead and um, do another YouTube video on how to make them. Uh, being it's it's such a simple thing, but it took me a while to figure it out, as I figure. Uh, it probably has for many of you. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate my way of making the um, deer hair cone drops that are on um, native bags and knife sheaths and that sort of thing. So um, again, we want to take our, our thread to start out with. Give yourself enough so you don't run out. Probably a yard or so of thread. Clip that. You'll want to beeswax that as usual, and um, what I do the way I start is um, I get myself a little bit of uh, deer hair that has been dyed with uh, this particular one has been dyed with cochineal. Now um, the next time I dye deer hair. I'm going to do it on the tail. Uh, yesterday I got a deer hair out of the freezer. I skinned it and um, I will dye the whole thing and then that gives you a much nicer piece to work with uh, rather than the clipping it off and dyeing it tends to um, get it kind of wrinkled and you have to then straighten it out but either way works but I notice most people um, either buy them or dye them on already on the tail, keeping it a lot nicer. Okay, so we get a nice little little hank of deer tail hair. Um, we tie it to secure it. And um, this is real important, so I tie it many times, turning it over each time. And like I said, this seems like a simple task, and I'm sure for some it was, but it seemed like it took me forever until I learned a way on my own uh, to make it uh, a secure a secure tie. And uh, so many times, if you don't do them tight enough, they will just pull right off, and you've wasted all your time and efforts and end up losing them. So about four times, knot it up or three times, maybe four times, pulling it extra tight, okay, then uh, take your little thong of brain pan that you're going to be attaching to your knife sheath or sewing into your native bag, um, go ahead and put your cone on, handmade cones by Daryl and Mary Brandenburg, Brandenburg slide it up on there, make a nice little knot so it can come down and rest on that, like so. Then before you um, pull it down onto the knot, go ahead and take your needle and pull your into it securely and then go ahead and pull your knot up in there to get it nice and firm. Now I don't know how other people do it but what I do after I've done that take my needle and I secure it here at the top with a few stitches close as possible to the cone. At least four times. You can wrap it around, make sure you get through the brain can a couple times at least. It's close to the 
very close to the cone as you can. Now, if you want to uh, have a bead on there, you can slip it on the other end or you can put it on before on this end before you sew it and then just slide it down over the sewn portion. There, that should hold. Knotted it quite a few times. Let's go around the whole thing and make a nice knot. that right up, your cone right up to it. And I like to, um, after I'm all finished, I'll go back and I'll clip, like right there, so I'm going to clip off. And that's one end, one end, and then um, you'll do the same for the other end. Up higher than you really want it. You go ahead and make your knot because it's going to be actually you know, pulled down. And then that gives you enough room to attach it. As I have this one gives you enough room to attach it to a knife sheath or whatever you're attaching it to. Mm -hmm. 